Hey guys, I just wanted to um, add a little bit more to my last video um, where I said, should you support your Thai girlfriend's parents? And uh, um, I guess where this part is going to come from is like when I talked about the other one, my friends, they were born and raised in Nissan. So up north, they all came from car farming communities in Thailand. Um, but like I said, I went to call, I went to school in Bangkok. And uh, um, this one, this part here is going to be more about what I experienced with like the city people in Thailand um, that, that weren't raised on the farms and everything. Okay, so like every day on my way to school, I would go eat at the, the market. I, I would get um, waffles with raisins and stuff. And the lady that always, the people that always served me, it was a mom and pops restaurant. And these people must have been in their 70s, Thai people, you know, their kids are all growing up and everything. And they didn't expect their children to be financially supporting them. They, they both worked together. She, she did all the cooking and the husband, he collected the money and everything. So um, people in Thailand, they work until they die. Um, like I said, they, as long as they're able-bodied and, and work gives a person a sense of pride in everything. And like I said, both my, on both sides of my family, my grandparents, they both, both my grandpas worked full times at their jobs uh, until they were 80 years old here in the United States. And that's the same with, um, Thai culture too. The people work as long as they can until 80 years old, 80 plus, whatever. So, um, so yeah, that, that's how that is. Um, you're not expected to support mom and dad, um, and fund their retirement. And, um, I had a, I had another friend over there too. I was going to say, um, oh yeah, actually my landlord. So the, the apartment building that I was living in, my landlord, he was like really successful. Um, this is back in, 2018 when I was going going to school over there and uh um his his family well mom and dad they actually owned an apartment building and then later on he bought another one and he actually bought some uh, farmland up by Isan too and he had like surf for tenants farmers on it where um they farm it for him and then they get um, a certain share of the crop off of it um so that that's how that was set up but yeah like even him he, uh, he went to college to be a, um, an electrical engineer is what his career was. And, and he just got so busy with the real estate end of it um, that, that he was able to retire from, from that. And, or well, at least I don't know if he would actually call that retirement. I don't know if they really have a pension. But uh, um, he just went to managing his properties and everything. And he's like, my, my kids are never going to be supporting me. He's like, I, I'm responsible for myself. He's like, I buy rental properties. And that's what a lot of the Thai people do. They'll buy um, a condo or buy a house or buy farmland, just like we do in the United States, so that they have a steady rental income to help um, support their retirements and everything. So, um, yeah, like I said, just, just don't don't be fooled from this stuff that you're supposed to financially support um, support the your girlfriend or your Thai wife's uh, family. It, it's not like that. You, It's just like America where you are... Um, you're responsible for supporting you and your wife and your children that you guys have together. So, all right, take care, you guys.